unlucky not to have won that game? Yeah, I think um, it probably wasn't our best best performance as a team, but um, I think we've done enough, created enough chances to, to take all three points today, but um, proves how far we've come because we're, we're gutted to be coming and joining against a team that's in the playoffs, so um, credit to the lads and, and, and the team. I have to ask you first of all about that incident right at the very end when the goalkeeper came out as you were going through. Did you think it was handball? Um, first, I didn't. I have to watch it back. My, my gut feeling, I didn't think it was handball. Um, probably have to watch it back and, and, and look here. Maybe my views will change. And you came so close to getting your first goal for Cheltenham on a number of different occasions. Yeah, I mean, a little bit frustrating for me, you know what I mean? But. Um, I'm getting in the positions, I'm getting the chances that's so I can do it at the minute and hopefully eventually they'll, they'll start going in. And it must be frustrating because it, you, you've had a number of shots on goal which the goalkeeper you know, has made the terrific save which just got deflected wide. Yeah, I mean, um, I've seen Tolls um, flick it on and I just anticipated, stood in the middle of the goals, um, got good contact on it to be fair and goalie's made a good save. Um, um, for being highly critical of myself, I'd, I'd fancy myself to put that away nine times out of ten. But um, that's one of them. Just got, it's gone now. Do you know what I mean? A lot of positive feedback for you on social media. Do you think <coughs> that was your your best uh, cameo appearance for Cheltenham? Um, I mean, um, I'd say as regards of chances, um, with the limited time I had on the pitch, yeah. Um, I mean, coming on the pitch, you just want to impact the game as as best as possible, and I. I felt like I was. Um, I provided a little bit of a goal for it coming on, um, and that's what you want to do. You just want to help the team and, and try to get all three points. That's what I tried today. wasn't wasn't good enough, but on another day, you know, we'll get the win. It was certainly a, a good game to watch in the second half. What was it like to play in? Um, I think um, I think second half. Like I said, today wasn't our best performance um, footballing-wise as a team. We know we can play better than that, um, but. I felt like we created enough chances um, to take all three points today. Um, obviously, the keeper making a few saves and um, a few others. That, but on another day, they go in, and um, I think for us, we just need to stay positive. Um, and we were still on beating at home um, this year, and um, yeah, there's positives to take from it. How are you enjoying your time at Cheltenham Town? I'm enjoying. My, I'm, I'm loving it at the minute. Um, obviously, I would. I would like every player wants to play. Um, biding my time at the minute. I mean, the strikers that are playing ahead of me doing very well. Um, Reg and obviously Billy scoring. Ty, when he's coming, he scored as well. So I think for me, it's just biding my time and um, cheering the lads on, but obviously wanting to be a part of it as well. It's a real competition for places at the top of the team, isn't it? Yeah, and I mean, that's what you want. I mean, it's good for the manager. It gives him a headache, a bit of a headache on who he starts and who he selects week in, week out. And I think it's healthy for the team. And it's only going to drive us on even more, especially as strikers. You want to, you want to put the ball in the back of the net, and you want to help the team. You want to be the one to make that difference. And um, like I said, today wasn't my day, but um, yeah, on another day could go in. You've been playing up in Scotland. How, how do you think the <coughs> standard there compares to what you're playing at the moment? Um, I'd say it's, it's, it's pretty much similar. I mean, um, very physical up in Scotland. I mean, you get League Two games like today's physical game. It's, you think most games are the same, really. Um, yeah, compare them. I'd, I'd say they're pretty much similar. Like many players, you had a contract at the end of this season. Uh, how difficult a time is it for professional footballers when you get to this stage of the season and you're wondering where where am I going to be? Yeah, I mean, it'll be not everyone wants to be sorted and, and know where they're going to be next season. Of course. Um, I leave that. I just try and do my business on the pitch and hopefully impress enough to to, to, to catch a manager's eye. And, and I mean, the club's brilliant. I'd like to stay here. Um, we'll see what we'll see what the future holds. Who knows? So uh, for our listeners, do you, do you have an agent, Akish? Um, yes, I do. And, and so how does it work for a player like you? Is the is the agent coming to you and saying, you know, we <coughs> might, we've heard that so and so might be interested? In you? How does it work? Um, well, I, I don't handle that side of the, the business. I mean, I, I deal with the business on the football pitch and um, if teams are interested, if you get the call, well, I'm sure he would let me know, but as of yet, I've not heard anything. Um, would you like to stay at Cheltenham? Yeah. I think, um, I think as a team, I think we've come on, especially since I've come in and I've seen the, the growth as a group, and I mean, the group has been growing even before I came in. Um, 
and it's refreshing to see and it's, it's something you want to be a part of. Um, team that's progressing and the team that's doing well and I mean all the players buy into what the manager's doing and, and his beliefs and I think that's a, that's a huge thing, especially at a club like this, it's, it's, it's brilliant. What changes have you seen in the club since you were here briefly last time? Well, well, since I was on trial, <laughs> I mean, um, I think I think at that moment I was, I was pretty young coming in and I was on trial. Um, I didn't know an awful too much about Cheltenham at that time. Um, I always knew it was a pretty close-knit club and obviously coming back I can see that and, and the lads as well, I mean all the lads are close, really close, um, very good tight-knit bunch. So, um, that helps off the pitch and it also helps on the pitch. You can see we fight for each other week in, week out. And um, I mean, results, you can see now our waveforms coming into play. Um, at home, we've been we've been brilliant this season. And away from home now, we're, we're starting to get those results. So um, it's a good time for us at the minute. And we just want to keep just want to keep winning, keep keep getting good results. And I mean, we're gutted to, to be coming in at 1-1 against the team that's in the playoffs, like I said. So, um, nah, so it's, it's a good habit. You want to be in them habits. You want to. I wonder if we've got it to be coming in and trying to get a team like that because we know we're better. The, ma the manager says that the uh, the system that you play just takes a bit of time for <coughs> new players to learn because it's a slightly different system. W would that be right? Um, I guess so. I think uh, a few more teams are playing a 3-5-2 at the minute. Um, and previously at the clubs I've been at, we played 3-5-2 also, but I think there's different ways to play it. And you can see that the way we play it is, is pretty effective and it, it, it suits our style of our players, our personnel and our identity now so I think yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's positive for us on that front.